Remember this? It's the hoverboard that I designed and built in the last series of the Gadget Show. It uses some plywood, a 30cc leaf blower engine and some pond lining. And you end up hovering on a cushion of air. As prototypes go, it was pretty effective. But now, I want to take it to the next level. In the original hoverboard, I used just one engine. For hoverboard version H2.0, I'm using four. Why? Well, the clue's in the name. My second hoverboard isn't just designed to go on land, it's designed to go on water. Now, remember, I've invented a completely new hoverboard with this design. Hopefully, the fact that the board is circular, with four engines set equidistant around it, means it should deliver much more power and be better balanced. Another important change from the first version is that I'm using two pieces of wood clamped together. This makes it heavier, but the two boards will sandwich the inflatable plastic skirt so it stays tightly sealed. This is the top to a cake box, and it's going to form the grommet underneath my hoverboard. It'll all make a lot more sense in a minute when you see it in action, but for now, I've got to put that in place, get my bolt through the centre, and then put the knot on the top to keep it all sandwiched together. Can you see it? There's the grommet underneath, the bolt through its centre. And it's that grommet ugh, that's going to enable us to pressurise the centre underneath. Each engine fires out air at up to 300 miles an hour. Obviously, if I kept on pumping air in, the plastic would just explode. So, a few strategically placed holes will allow enough air to escape and eventually create a cushion on which I'll float. Finally, I want to add some buoyancy should the engines cut out. Hopefully, these foam tubes should provide a little protection on the open water. Just two more turns. <sighs> and that's it. Hoverboard version H2.0 is finally finished. Susie, John, she's ready for testing. With all four engines running, it's time for our first test. Now, I know my hoverboard works on land, but can it really hover on water? <laughs> Amazingly, it works first time. And remember, this isn't floating, it's actually hovering a few millimetres above the water's surface. One is a success. It hovers of its yes. own accord right. on water. The question is, of course, now, will it support my weight? Here we go. So, we know it works, but next up, I'm going to try and stand on it. If this doesn't work, I'm about to get very wet. 